The nightmare continues for several Americans arrested while on vacation in Turks and Caicos, unable to leave because a new law seeks to punish them for possessing ammunition, each facing 12 years in jail. A bipartisan group of U.S. lawmakers even visiting the islands to try to push for their release. News Nation correspondent Elizabeth Pran joining us live now. Elizabeth, what can you tell us about this delegation? Hey, Natasha. Well, they went this week. The delegation traveled to the island territory. They failed to get any of these charges released on these Americans. It was two U.S. senators, uh, three House members, an embassy and a State Department representative that went to the territory to try to work on some no negotiations. But as you mentioned, the nightmare continues for the remaining uh, people and they, as you said, can face up to 12 years behind bars. There was a revamp of some of the laws locally, um, and they had harsher, harsher penalties about two years ago when there was an uptick of violence. Some of these folks, by the way, have already been held since February. So we heard from Representative Bob Good. He was one of those who traveled. Uh, he is from Virginia. He had some very poignant words to say about authorities there. Here he is. We're hopeful that. Uh that uh, they're aware of the intended consequences, that they don't want these unintended consequences, and they'll revisit how they're treating tourists who make a mistake with no obvious criminal intent. Obviously, they weren't trying to harm or to threaten anyone. You know, when you're carrying one or two stray bullets and you're trying to leave the island, not even knowing it's in your bag, obviously, there's no reason for you to be treated like a criminal who was coming with nefarious intent. Yeah, a lot of emphasis on criminal intent there. Keep in mind, Natasha, this is a bipartisan effort. We've also seen a number of governors pen letters to authorities there to try to get these folks released. Yeah, not the outcome that they were hoping for. Uh, Elizabeth, what about the fifth person detained? What do we know? Yeah, let's go over this. So authorities did release a Michael Lee Evans. He has terminal cancer, so they released him for medical reasons. And then after that delegation failed, we know that Tyler Scott Wenrich did plead guilty to his charges. So that leaves Ryan Watson, it leaves Brian Hagerich, and it leaves Sharita Sheense Greer. Now, she traveled over Mother's Day weekend with her family. She had two rounds in her duffel bag that she did not know were there in a liner in her carry-on. And she has a similar story. These folks unknowingly had this ammunition on them. In fact, we heard from Watson. He was on Cuomo just last month, and this is what he told him. We were just worried about packing swimsuits and flip-flops, um, and, and we had no need to look up their firearms and ammunition laws. I mean, there, we had no need. And so this is all just a, a terrible, terrible nightmare. You know, a nightmare. We're hearing that from a lot of families. We have uh, a hearing coming up on Friday and then two next week. So we'll see how this progresses. Natasha. Uh, that mother arrested on Mother's Day weekend with uh, her family there. Elizabeth Pran, alive for us tracking this. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.